Hey guys, everywhere don't scatter as Omoyele Shuari, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress in the 2023 election, has made some historical disclosures regarding the president regarding President Bola Tinubu. Reports had gathered that some citizens of Nigeria who engaged in the nationwide protest against the current administration led by President Bola Tinubu have been arrested and charged with treason by the federal government of Nigeria. However, during an interview with Arise News, Chowari disclosed that in 1994, President Bola Tinubu was arrested for treason and accused of bombing the Ijibu depot. According to the video, in 1994, Tinubu was accused of treason. He was accused of bombing Ijibo depot by Abacha, so that was why he left Nigeria in Ezai. But in our own case, we won't go into Ezai because the government is afraid of blakers. So this is what Omoyele Ishwari have just said. He says, see, this President Bola Metinubo, who is now attacking Nigerians, arresting them, charging them for treason because, just because, you know, they are protesting. They are asking for good governance. This man protested. And he said this man, even, you know, he was also charged for prison and he left Nigeria. You understand? In Ezra. So Shawari said, their case is different. That they can never go for Ezra. That uh, Nigeria government is afraid of them. So, they can never go for hazard. So, guys, I want to see this matter. Meanwhile, Nigerians are really, you know, warming up for August 1st, you know, protest. As the prices of things in the market, you know, uh, hike uh, by the increase of fuel and everything. Nigerians are really warming up. They say they don't tire. The situation in Nigeria now is really a very sorry one. You get the situation in Nigeria is a sorry one. Uh, this government wants to turn Nigerians to international beggars. Even if you are receiving 500, 600,000 naira as your salary, you know, with family of six, you cannot even save anything. You are just working. You are just working for feeding. It, it, it is as bad as that. But the worst part of it is that they, these people, they don't understand what Nigerians are saying, whether they don't understand or, or just out of wickedness. If you say you did do something, make we enjoy. And the people, when you did do the thing for, still they tell you, say, see, <laughs> see, this thing is not working. We are suffering. Why can't you make a change of mind? You understand? Because leaders are supposed to be, you know, the people's servants. But in Nigeria, it's not like that. When it comes to their own, nothing they stop them. They can do anything, go to any length, and get what they wanted. Just like when President Bola Metinubu wants to project, uh, purchase that uh, presidential jet, Nigerians, you know, raised an alarm. Not now. Calm down. You get she didn't say this man get money where well. So are they even trying to tell us that he don't have he doesn't have a private jet? You make sacrifice. If you are going out, if you are traveling, you can make sacrifice. You can answer chatter. That is sacrifice. You will ask Nigerians to make sacrifice. But you, when it comes to your own, they don't make sacrifice. Our Nigerian senators are there, you know, being paid more than 21 million naira a month. And when Nigerians are talking, it will be like Ah, what are these people talking? They don't. They are not feeling the heat. There is no how they can spend and spend, you know, ten million naira in a month. You understand? There is no how. So these people are taking Nigerians for fool. This is a democracy government. Is the right of Nigerians to protest? Is their fundamental right? Why is APC government always going after protest uh, protesters? protesters i meant to say how can you charge people who are who protested against hardship in nigeria as treasonous acts 
they want to take over your 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 office how with play cards and uh, and um, flag is that how it works but these presidents have protested against uh, past governments we recall during the good luck jonathan's time this man even carried jonathan for inside coffee you understand he carried him for gaskets you get so he not get anything when he never do he protested against Jonathan back to back. And that was what brought APC to power. So the same people who have done something like that are not afraid. They're not afraid because they know what they are doing. That what they are doing is not just right. Well, when I don't hear her now, when I don't say history, not they run. If they do something, just they do. Uh, don't forget to say all these things when don't happen before. You stay there, there, you get so it can always come back to hit you. At the drop on for you guys, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up.